this is the equation of a, oh, that does not look right. <laughs> There's not two y's in here. Let's go make this like 25. A, a circle. This is a circle with a radius of five. So if anyone recalls, and again, you don't have to do this, but radius squared is just x squared plus y squared. This would be a circle centered at the origin with a radius of five. You guys, could we go find the derivative of this? with respect to x. Let's go do it. What's the derivative of 25? Five. Derivative of it though? No. Nothing, right? No. Derivative of x squared. Yeah, derivative of y squared with respect to x. 2y dy dx. I, you don't have to write that down. Let's just go get my slope. Let's go get my slope. If I wanted to get dy dx by itself, could I say negative 2x equals 2y dy dx? Could I divide by my 2y? And I'd get psh, negative x over y is my slope. So this 7, 3 is all about a slope field. And you're like, what? What I'm telling you right here is this is the equation of the slope of a circle. Would it matter what my radius was? If my radius was huge, wouldn't the derivative of that still be 0? So let me show you what a slope field looks like for a circle. So I just put these into a slope field generator and it's saying, hey, here, if I graph every single slope, and you're like, what are you talking about? Uh, this, these are the slopes of a circle. Do you agree that the general shape, if I were to kind of follow this trend, makes a little circle? And if I follow this trend a little bigger, we got a bigger circle. Meaning these slopes represent a function. These slopes represent a circle at any radius, because again, the derivative of a constant is always zero. So this field, the slope field, represents the slope, uh, sorry, represents the shape of a circle no matter the radius's length. So we're gonna draw some of these by hand. We can do this, let me show you, pack it. So right here, AP is going to act, you're 100% going to have to do this on a free response question. It says, hey, here's my differential equation. On the axis provided, sketch a slope field for this differential equation. We don't know what it's going to look like, but all we've got to do, and in this case, 3, 6, 9, 12, there are 12 points that we need to draw the slope at each of those points. You agree dy dx is just slope. So maybe we start at 0, 0. At the point 0, 0. We just need to go plug in 0 for my x, 0 for my y into that equation, you guys. And if I did that, wouldn't that get me 0 times 0 minus 1 over 4? What's that going to get me when I simplify that? 0 over anything is just going to get me 0. You guys, what does the line look like that's got a slope of 0? Hoy, right? So what we do is we go to this point and we just draw a little... A little dash with this, the slope of zero, I'm going to put mine in red. It's just going to be like that. Tucker's might be a little longer. That's fine. It's just going to be a little dash on that point to show the slope of, the va of that point given this equation. Let's go to this point. What if I do zero, one? What's going to be my slope at zero, one when my x is zero again? Still going to be zero. Do you guys need to show this work over here? You do not. AP gives us no credit for any of this work. So if you're like, okay, every time my x is zero, vux, any vertical line when my x is zero, the slope is going to be zero, you can just make that known. Uh, you do not need to show any work. They're not going to ever give you points for this. They're only going to give you points over here. Let me say that one more time. I'm going to just write this out for someone who might need it. If I had the point zero, two, when I plug a 0 in for x, I'd still get 0 times 2 minus 1 over 4, which would still get me 0. Is there any y value? If my y value was a certain number, would it also get me a slope of 0? Based on that equation. If my y was 1, if my y was 1, you guys, wouldn't it be 1 minus 1 on top? So if I had, if my y was 1, if I had the point 1, 1, if I had the point 1, 1, I'd have 1 times 1 minus 1 over 4. Again, you don't need to show that if you're like, oh, I know that that's going to get me a 0. So at 1, 1, I also have the point, the slope of 0. 
And at negative 1, 1, I also have the slope of 0. You getting those 0 slopes right gets you 1 point on the AP free response out of the 9. The other point comes from these remaining 6 points. So I don't remember that 5 6 rule that I told you or the 7 8 rule. If you get 5 of the 6 slopes here right, then you get the whole point. They won't take off anything. We dig it. So now let's try one that's not going to be 0. This point here is the point 1, 0. Boop, boop, boop. When I plug in the point 1, 0 into this, correct me if I'm wrong, it'd be 1 times 0 minus 1 over 4. What would that simplify to be? Negative 1 fourth. And what we got to go then and do is we got to go to this slope, this point, and draw a slope of negative 1 fourths. Would it go up or would it go down? It's going to go down. Would it be very steep down or very shallow down? It's going to be very shallow. My slope just needs to be down one over four. Are we going to be perfect here? No. Does it matter? No. They're looking if it's in the right direction. They're making sure that it's facing down. We feel good about it. I'm going to just draw it a little shallow. Do you want to go try this point one, two? Let's go try that one above it. What if we did the point one, two? One, two, my X is one, my Y is two. Is that getting me positive one fourth? So if we said that this was negative one fourth, my slope at this point is gonna be positive one fourth. So I'm gonna go up a little bit. If I did a perfect 45 degree angle, it'd be a slope of one. So I'm just gonna go flatter. I'm just gonna go flatter again. Are we losing sleep over this? Nope. I'm just going in the positive direction, pretty flat. How about one three? One, three, when my X is one, my Y is three, we get in two fourths or a half. Do you want that to be a little steeper or a little flatter than our one fourth? Oh, just a smidge steeper. We lose the sleep over it? Nope, I just want a little steeper. We've got three more points to go, y'all. They're giving us negative one, zero. Again, you do not need to show any of this work over here. You don't need to show it. If you want to do it in your head, go for it. Uh, sometimes it helps me just to make sure I get my sign right. Negative 1 times a negative 1 on top. What's my slope going to be on the point negative 1, 0? Yeah, so it's the same as my 1, 2. So I'm just going to go pretty, I'm just going to go in the positive direction pretty flat, though, because it's a slope of 1 fourth. Negative 1, 2. If I put a negative 1 in for my x and a 2 in for my y, we had negative one-fourth. So you guys got a negative one-fourth there? Did I do that right? Cute. I'm just going to go in the negative direction, pretty flat. And then we got one more point to go. We got this point negative one-three. Negative one-three. When we simplify that, I got negative half, so I'm just going to still go in the negative direction just a little steeper. And you know what I actually, I just did it myself. I see a lot of kids like, Ugh, like really emphasize and then I feel like it gets a little crazy. It's just, it, we don't have to overthink it. Just one little slash in that direction, they're good with it. Again, they're gonna give you one point for these zero slopes. They're gonna give you another point for these slopes, really just are they in the right direction? Did Evan put a positive slope here? Positive, negative, positive, negative, negative. That's what they're giving you two points for. Let's take a peek at this one from 2014, 10 years ago. That makes me want to vomit. It says, hey, here's this differential equation. Again, this is our, our newest unit, differential equations. Um, and they said, hey, the function does go through the point one, two. Okay, find the slope of the line at the point one, two. We did this back in August. How would we find the slope of a tangent line to F at that point? Don't overthink it. You know, what do we got to do to just find the slope at that point? Plug it, plug it in. Thanks, Blake. Let's just plug it in. My fancy writing, I'm just going to say dy dx at that point is, if you're skipping that, I understand. I probably would have skipped that as a student too. I just need you to plug it in. What are we plugging in for my x? What are we plugging in for my y? Um, if you don't want to show 2 over 1 squared is just 2, if you don't want to show that, just write 2. That's fine. Could we end it right there? Yeah. 
We could. What are we going to get if we did simplify it? Negative one. Good job. Then I'm going to give you guys a sec. I want you to try. Guys, there are only nine points on this one. You only want to label a slope field for the point that's labeled. And again, it says on the axis provided, sketch a slope field given these nine points. So you're avoiding that Y axis. So I'm going to give you some time. Give those a shot. You are using this slope and you're plugging in these nine points there. Anyone find a trend? What's going to make me have a slope of zero? If my Y was what, I'd have a slope of zero. One. Where do, where's y equals 1 look on my graph? y equals 1. What would it look like? Horizontal. Exactly. On that horizontal line, all my slopes are going to be 0. And maybe I write myself a note just for my slopes are 0 at y equals 1. That's just how I got those. Are they going to give you points for that? Nope. That's just if you're curious. And if you don't see that, that's okay. Just take your time and go through each point how an AP grader would regrade this. Boom, if you had these three as zeros, they'd give you one point. Did you have, just check, positive, I'm gonna put it in green, positive, positive. Did you have these green ones as a positive slope and these red ones as a negative slope? If you did, you just got a two out of two. You guys, that's 22%. We're looking for like a 40% on our uh, free responses to get a three and you're already at 22% just for drawing your slope field. We dig that. 